Here we go. We're just going to continue on filling that big mass in the background with greens. And hopefully there will be a little bit of drying going on so that I can come back to that and do a bit of work. There is one thing I'd like to show you at this moment, and it, it's such a nice part of the water-soluble paints that I like. The fact that we can remove pigment, clean water, and a nice brush. If, for instance, we wanted to put a birch tree in the background, we can actually take the pigment off at this point. A little more clean water, a little more pigment is removed. It's an indication of a tree, a branch of a tree. There we go. There's some very interesting things you can do with this pigment. Now, I would like to refine at this point that cedar rail fence which comes across here and ends up about here. Perspective is very important. And if we get that perspective off, the whole painting is going to look strange. So let's, let's indicate that now. I'll put the negative part of that fence in, like so. And we can refine that later. But now we have the basic shape of this whole composition working quite well. Now with the same sap green, I'm going to put in what I see as these uh, supporting greens of the flowers in the in the bottom part of this painting. The sap green again is my green of choice. It's a wonderful warm color. When mixed with the complementary colors, the purples, it adds some wonderful gray half tones and middle values. So what I've got here now is these beautiful fresh greens to deal with. I'm putting them over top of the uh, underpainting of the warms, the oranges, the reds, and we're getting some very interesting effects here. And I'm going to be increasing my value as we go into the painting, retain some of these darks, and we'll add these bright colors as we go. There's a big shadow here, which is a very important element of the painting. I want to put some cools back in here. And bring up some of these values just slightly in here now, as we come closer to the final highlights of the painting. The lightest colors are going on top. Unlike a watercolor where you work from light to dark, in oils we work from dark to light. So this is what we're doing now. We've put the transparents on, we put the darks in, we've masked things in, and now we're working from darks to lights. The final thing we'll put on will be the backlighting effect of the sun hitting those, those uh, flowers. <clears throat> you in here. The secret of this painting is not to keep scrubbing in the color, otherwise they become muddy, the colors mix too much. So let's try and keep it fresh by just putting minimum amount of strokes down, just putting them on top like that. I think I might add some some darks into those greens now to delineate some of the areas you might have lost in the uh, in the painting. So if we can add these darks now, without getting too 
too much brushwork to to gray everything and to make everything become one awfully muddy color, keep the strokes to a minimum. Now, as I said earlier, value and temperature are the two things I look for in a painting. <clears throat> Trying to get the right value here. It's a little dark from what I want. Back up in here, I'm going to put a few of these, these darker values in because back there, that's about the value I'm looking for. In the foreground, I want fresher greens. I'm going to add cadmium yellow, a bit of white. It's still not bright enough. It's still not the high value that I want. It's a very tricky combination we have to find here of brightness, enough green, and yet not too to warm or cool. That isn't bad. That's not too far off what I want. Eventually I'll bring the values up much higher. I noticed in my original painting you have a whole lot more yellow. And this will be the final sort of value that I'm going to achieve. Something in that that range. Probably a little cooler. Something like that. Yeah, that's better. I've got a lemon yellow here, which I'm working with. Mix that up. Make it a little interesting. I'm going to raise that value higher and higher as we go. Make it more, more brighter and more luminous. This is what I'm looking for. And as we get farther away, progressively cooler. So we'll add a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. And we'll hopefully hit that perfect temperature and value back in here. That's just about what I'm looking for right there. That's good. That's good. Yeah, good. 